This painting was done for a dear friend of mine uh, in the style of Nietzsche, a UN dynasty painter who he's very, very fond of. I got a feel for the way he laid out a painting um, with kind of mountains in the top and uh, just a hint of ground below anchoring the painting and then the focus really being these two pine trees and then kind of in this autumny void of clouds. It's a very open painting. There's enough space in it that you can kind of start here and work your way up and you can stare at it for hours and not feel claustrophobic. In the process of researching this painting for my friend, um, I realized that uh, one of the paintings that Nietzsche created uh, was kind of very dear to his heart. There was a painting he made, he sold it, to, sold it to somebody, and then 15 years later the painting came back into his possession, and uh, it was after his wife had died, and uh, he wrote a very moving poem about kind of being alone in the autumn void and thinking of his wife. Um, and the reason I mention this is because there are two pine trees here. So it's kind of like two friends or a husband and wife being together. What drew me to creating this painting for my friend was the ability to kind of get back into traditional Chinese painting and using dry brush technique, basically carving into the paper with multiple washes of light and dark ink um, and then black ink on top of it. So it kind of creates a, a 3D effect of something in the distance, foreground and uh, background. Down here you have rocks delineated with a very dry, dry brush uh, carving into the paper. You know, over here we can see it as well with different washes of gray. I put all these seals on it because I wanted the feeling to be that this was a painting that had been passed down from collection to collection over time. And that what you're looking at now, people 400 years ago could have been looking at and had some of the same feelings as well, you know, and responded to it in the same ways.